If you're an Android diehard, with so many tablets powered by Google's OS hitting the market, it's already getting difficult to choose the best. So we've put a selection through their paces to see which one comes out on top. Stepping up to poked, prodded and touched, we've got the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1, the Sony Tablet S, the Motorola Zoom and the Asus ePad Transformer. The Sony Tablet's unique 9.4 inch screen size is thicker at one end, giving the screen a slightly raised feel on a flat surface. However, this quirky feature is let down slightly by an annoying flap over the connectivity slots that just doesn't need to be there. The zoom feels really sturdy, although a tad on the weighty side, but a brushed aluminium back and rubber edge bezel really help you keep a firm grip in the hands. The Galaxy Tab came high in the style stakes, with its smooth and sleek bodywork featuring a super lightweight 0.4 inch depth. But offering the practicality of a netbook as well as the portability of a tablet while still looking the part really made the Asus ePad stand out with its detachable keypad and trackpad dock. The zoom was the slowest to start up in our tests, taking over a minute to load. The averagely impressive Tablet S and Transformer came in at 30 seconds and 31 seconds respectively, but top of the turn on test was the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1, booting up in a speedy 24 seconds. The Tablet S is a cut above the rest with its customization of Honeycomb. The app menu comes in a white accent, while all of the others on test feature a mundane black, and icons have also been given a makeover by Sony. The stylish tiles on the Galaxy Tab and Asus look great, and the multiple home screens are also a refreshing change to the usual Android Tab pages, which can get a little cluttered. We tested how long it took to load a content-rich web page and play a video on YouTube. Packing an NVIDIA Tegra 2 processor, both the Sony Tab and the ePad Transformer were quick off the mark, loading sites in just 3 seconds, but the rest of the group weren't far behind, with most finishing the test in around 6 seconds. Sony S has a head start when it comes to gaming, being able to run a whole suite of PlayStation certified games, and managing to do so ably thanks to an NVIDIA graphics chip on board. However, playing Cordy on the Transformer and Galaxy Tab was a pleasant experience too, thanks to their 1280x800 resolution 10.1 inch screens. For the price, around £340 for the 3G flavour, the Motorola Zoom is a sturdy piece of tech, but we did find it slightly laggy at times and it is a touch on the heavy side compared with the others on test. We really enjoyed watching videos on the Samsung and Asus, with their 1280x800 screens looking very sharp. And although the Sony was perfectly acceptable, we didn't feel the picture was quite as crisp. We love the preloaded PlayStation certified games on the Sony S and the customised Honeycomb UI. But when it comes to our ultimate Android tablet, the Asus ePad Transformer is one we're desperate to take away with us. The home screen tiles are good looking and tidy, it's speedy, lightweight and the detachable keyboard makes writing reams of text a dream and a real threat to netbooks. If an Android tablet is going to topple Apple's iPad 2, the ePad Transformer is definitely the early contender.